Hey everybody, this is Malice, or Mitch, and I am going to show you how to make a customized HUD. So this is what it will look like. I didn't pre-render this, but this is what it will look like when I'm done. Something similar to this. It involves a bunch of layers. That is in in uh, significant. Okay, so first you want to get your clip. I already have my clip with my color correction on it, and I already have it twixtered. We are beginning my twixter here. All right, now to make this HUD, first thing you want to do is make. I'm gonna find out how long this is. So. Uh, about just about two minutes. So we're gonna make it two minutes long. Actually, I'm gonna make it one five nine because I think it's one frame less, I believe. Okay, now first thing you want to do is come up here, rectangle tool, and round, you want to go down to round, re rounded rectangle tool, and alt click on your fill, and click once on your stroke. Two may be enough. Okay, but now you want to come down to this little thing right here, and you want to go to grid. See, I'm gonna put it up in this top corner right here. And I'm gonna drag it to where it comes to this corner right here. That looks about right. Alright, next thing you want to do is duplicate that layer. And you want just want to kinda scale it down just a little bit. Like that, that should work. You can turn off your grid now. This will be your outer and inner borders. Now, this is just the borders though. Next thing you have to do is, let me see, let me come to my hood here. All right, next thing that you'll need to do, see I've got indicators and radars and stuff. I may just upload this template, but I'm still going to show you how to make it as well. Next thing let's start on is the circle. The circle will be a good word, a good place to start. So let's come to ellipse tool. You want to come somewhere in here, anywhere in here, wherever you want to place it. And you want to click, and while you're dragging out, push c shift and control. I want my radar to be about there. And I'm going to drag it over to here. And there's the radar. Now, I like to rename these because it makes it easier to see. So, this will be outer border. This will be inner border. And this would be radar border. Okay. Now we got the borders done. Before it's already four minutes long, so I want you guys to know that this will be a long tutorial. So just be prepared for it. Now the next thing we want to do is Control D. The radar border and come up to fill click alt like a color and I think I chose uh, white doesn't really matter now on your second border you want to go to effects generate grid come up to corner point width and height sliders and then you want 
to click on it to click F4 and click Alpha Mat. And then you get this here. But if you still want the you're still going to want the border around it. So what you can do is you can like duplicate the border and bring it down below it and turn it on and turn off the fill. And there you go. Now that you got the radar, you got the borders. Next thing, let's uh, put some. Let's put something inside the radar. After I adjust this a little bit, I want to adjust the uh, where the middle of this is, just so I can. There, that should be good. There. Now, what I'm going to do is create more to the radar so now I'm going to add the centerpiece which would be kind of like the person I guess you would say and I'm going to click right in the center and holding control and shift drag it out just a little bit and go to fill white should look like that this is going to be I'm going to rename this name it uh, self indicator oh yeah by the way if you still have this up you can click F4 we're not going to do anything else with that now you want to line this up where it's good to your liking like almost in the center closest to the center you can get it uh, that looks good to me now here's where it gets a little difficult and by a little difficult I mean difficult um now what we're going to do is click on the pen tool make sure you don't have anything selected in here nothing at all selected we're going to zoom in way in here you want to click right in the center right on the border I'm, I'm going to click up on the top border here right there click again right here I'm going to drag it to where it makes the top like as curvy as I can get it it's probably as good as I'm going to get it and then I'm going to click here but if you click on this and push control uh, didn't do it hold on control Z uh, if you have this How did I do that? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Okay, let's see. Grab the uh, control click. That's what you did. You hold control first. If you drag it out and you put it in the center here, like that, then you know for sure you'll have a straight, like a straight line, I guess. That, that looks perfect to me. Okay. Now that will be the I guess you'd say the radar itself the thing it's going to go around and it'll spin I want to call that uh, radar wipe I guess what you want to do is on the radar wipe is add an effect you want to add distort transform and you get this here now your anchor point I put my anchor point right dead in the center of this here that's going to change the position change this that your position to your anchor point so it'd be 799.8 ooh point 0.8 enter bam there you go now, if you rotate, it should rotate according like that, see? Rotate. That's how we're going to get it to